G'day viewers, welcome back to another video. Today is a little, something different for you. Uh, I've got a little bit of gold residue here from my, uh, where I pour my wash water into another vessel. Um, it's just a tiny bit of gold that I've recovered from that. And also down the very bottom, I don't know if you can see it in there, is the, uh, the little bead from my last video. There it is down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissolve this in aqua regia and then I'm going to show you how to uh, precipitate the gold using vitamin C. So to start with, I'm going to put this filter, if I can get it out. It's not a lot of gold but it's something for the video. So I'll put that in there, I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid in there and a tiny bit of nitric and start dissolving it. Now that all the gold's dissolved, all that's in there is paper pulp from the filter. So I'm going to put some ice cubes in there to cool it down fast. Hopefully that will drop out anything like silver or whatever could be in there. And then I'm going to filter it so we can put some vitamin C in there. Okay, so it's nice and cool now. Got a filter ready. Any extra ice in there will help to um, dilute it more because you're supposed to double the solution with water. So all those ice cubes are made from distilled water. Once that soaks through, I'll put the rest of it in there. A clean beaker, it's important to use a clean beaker. So I'll let this filter. The gold has all drained through. It looks like there's some dirt on the paper, which is good, it means we've caught some rubbish. I transferred it to a bigger beaker to allow room for any reaction that might take place. Now, these are the vitamin C tablets I've got. These ones are chewable. Um, I'm guessing you can buy some that are dissolvable and it's up to you whether you want to put a tablet in straight away as it is or crush it up into a powder. If they're the ones that you dissolve in a glass of water then you could just drop one straight in. Um, the problem is I've already got to, enough water in there, I don't want to be adding any more. And I was going to use my dolly pot, uh, dolly pot my um, mortar and pestle crush some of these up but I can't find it so I'm just going to take a chance and put it in hole and if need be I'll crush them up later if it doesn't work now you can get some that are the size of this lid and I've seen people use one but since these are a lot smaller I'm going to put two in and if you can see, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but there's like a glazing coating to this, which I think might stop it from dissolving. I think that's why you've got to chew them. So this might not work without them being crushed up. But I'm going to put two in there anyway. And just see what happens. I'll give it some time to work. I may need to pull them out and crush them up and put them back in. I'll give it some time and see how that goes. Yeah, it's been half an hour and a little bit of it's come away, but you can see they're still hard as a rock. So I found my mortar and pestle. I'm going to dig these out, put them in here and crush them up best I can and then return it back to the solution again. All right, now that I've started uh, getting, now that I've crushed it and got the powder in there, you can see it's already started dropping gold which is nice. Now because these tablets are a lot smaller than any ones I've seen people doing with, I don't know how many I'm going to need. Um, so I'm going to give this overnight to settle and do a Stannis test. See if there's any gold still in solution. If there is, I'll put a couple more in there tomorrow. Okay. Well, as you can see, the gold has settled. And I'm going to do a stannous test to make sure I've got all the gold. It looks like there might still be some in solution. No, I've got it all, which 
which is a good thing. Grab the powder, and I put it in my jar to wait till there's more. There's not enough there to melt. And at a later stage, next time I do some gold, I will do this again with the vitamin C. This time I'll uh, crush it up first, and you'll see it works better that way. So uh, there you go, you can drop gold with vitamin C. Thanks for watching, see ya.